this video I'll show you the best way of rendering and exporting animations in Blender and at the end of the video I'll explain why this is the best way of uh, rendering videos in Blender. So uh, let's get started by uh, showing you how to export. First you need to create a new folder on your computer, give it a name and then select that folder and then give the animation a name. And then we're going to render these as PNGs. And then you can choose the compression you want. I like to keep it low. And then you go to render. And then render animation. And then once the render is done, we're going to uh, open a new scene using video editing. And then we're going to convert the PNGs we just created into an MP4 file. So add images and then select the images press a to select all and then open image strip and then i'm going to set it to 4k and uh, 30 fps this is of course optional and then under encoding i like to set the output quality to perceptually lossless to keep the quality high and then you need to select a folder for the mp4 file and just give it a name. And then set the end frame to the end of the image strip and render and render animation. Okay, so you might be wondering why we render them as PNGs first instead of just going straight to MP4. And the reason for that is first of all, quality and compression. When you render these as PNGs, we're going to get a lot better quality for each frame compared to an mp4 file. This enables you both to get a better looking render and to use individual frames later if you want to. Error recovery is also a huge factor, especially for longer renders. If you are rendering an mp4 file and you have any technical issues along the way, you might ruin the whole file and you have to start over again. But when you render with the PNGs, you render each frame separately. So if you have an issue, you can just start over from the last frame. When you render PNGs, you also have the option to render a lot more output formats once the rendering is done. So you can easily just convert the images to a GIF file or an MP4 file or a .mov file and so on. So uh, it's going to be much faster to create a bunch of different formats afterwards. Using PNGs also gives you a lot more control when it comes to compositing as you can color correct and so on each individual frame. So I would say the reason we use PNGs instead of uh, rendering videos right away is the flexibility that comes with that, both in terms of quality, error recovery if something goes wrong, the output format we want to use later, and the compositing. 